Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video is going to be a kitchen organization and decluttering video. So I am basically going to be decluttering my whole kitchen. You guys are about to see every single cabinet in my kitchen and watch me organize it. I hope that this will give you guys some decluttering motivation, maybe a little spring cleaning, and I also hope that you guys will enjoy it. intermission and thank today's sponsor for the day abode you guys have seen me go through countless robot vacuums and as much as i did love them at one time the abode p8 robot vacuum literally does it all and with five kids and three dogs our hardwood floors get pretty dirty on the daily so on days that are extra busy for me and i don't have the time to vacuum or mop myself that's where this vacuum comes in handy especially on days like today where i was focused on cleaning and organizing our kitchen and also it was so easy to set up it took me less than five minutes and the best part is that this vacuum is self-cleaning and has a drying mop. None of the other vacuums I had in the past had that feature. As soon as I started it, it already started to map out the downstairs layout, and I can also vacuum and mop at the same exact time without changing out any attachments, or if I want to just vacuum, I can do that, or just mop if I need to. It also has auto water replacement, so all you have to do is fill up the clean water tank. It cleans itself, and you just dump the wastewater tank when it's full. Before I started using my abode, P8 vacuum, I went ahead and filled up the clean water tank, added the solution that it came with, and let it do a full cleaning and wanted to show you guys the waste water. Like, look at how dirty our floors were. So it's just, just so satisfying to see that. But when it goes back to the station to charge, it will go through a washing process, it will clean itself, and then, you guys, it will also dry the wet mop as well because it can get moldy if they're not dried. Obviously it's wet, so this function allows the mop to prevent mold. Also speaking about the mop, the P8 is actually mopped by two circular rags, which is cleaner than ordinary rags. I had to get a close up view just to show you guys how well it is cleaning our hardwood floors. I also wanted to show you guys that you can control so much through the app. You can do virtual walls, no-go zones, no mopping zones, just section off that area. You can even schedule cleanings from the app, and you can also do suction control, water control, vacuum only, mop only. You guys, there's so many different options. So this was the dustbin after doing a full cleaning. I'm showing you guys how nasty our floors were. You guys can see dog fur, crumbs, dirt, all kinds of stuff. But what I loved is that it was able to vacuum the whole floor downstairs on one single charge. So their cleaning range is up to 200 50 square meters so there's no frequent charges at all and it has a long lasting cleaning service so what was really nice is when i was unboxing everything it came with an extra set of brushes and mop cloths and a filter so i thought that was nice whenever i needed to change it out it already has a second set that i can use if you guys want to check out the abode p8 vacuum i'll leave the link and all of those details in the description down below and again thank you so much to abode for sponsoring today's video all right guys so let's now get to organizing all of my cabinets and drawers and this is, happens to me every single time. I don't realize how big of a task something is until I'm actually doing it. So this actually took me two days to organize the whole kitchen. You really start to realize how much crap <laughs> you have once you start going through it all. So I basically started on one side of the kitchen and just worked myself down. So. I'm starting, you guys can see, with all of the kids' stuff. I also didn't realize how much the kids had as well. Uh, that's my fault because I basically save everything. So this is a great time for me to start purging and getting rid of things. But I am first starting out with their lunch drawer. I kind of have, obviously, every single drawer and cabinet has a purpose. So this one is all of their lunch stuff, all of their lunch boxes and like I said you guys I'm holding on to some of those <laughs> those things are expensive okay so that's why I'm like I don't want to let them go but I did end up purging a lot of their cups um, I did want to say that every single drawer 
in the kitchen did not need to be organized. There was like maybe a few that I had organized prior. I'll show you guys and talk about that as it comes. But for the most part, I took out everything out of every single drawer and made sure to give it a quick wipe down. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't think I've ever done that since we've moved into this house and that's been going on five years now. I think it would be five years this year. Of course, if I ever see a spill or something that needs to be cleaned up, of course I will wipe it up, but I've never fully taken everything out and gave it a good wiping, which is really gross and that's why I'm being super candid with you guys because I wanna be real and raw and a lot of it was pretty disgusting and it made me realize that I need to do that more often um, and then I know you guys are gonna ask about the bamboo dividers let me just say I love those dividers because I know when it comes to organizing your house or organizing your things it can get kind of complicated in the sense that you know there's so many different accessories and bins and things that you guys can buy and that can be really really expensive you guys know I I love organizing like it is my thing if I could do it for a living I would do it all day every day but sometimes it can get pretty overwhelming because you're like okay what do I need to buy like do I need to get this do I need to get that and is it gonna fit in the drawer and everything and, and it, it you guys I get it, it's stressful. So what I love about these bamboo dividers is that they are retractable and I'm pretty sure they fit most drawers. I know that they fit mine. So if you guys have drawers that are similar to mine, then these will be perfect. You can just buy those. You don't really have to buy anything else because for this video, I didn't wanna go and buy a whole bunch of different things to organize my cabinets. I just wanted to work with what I have and also to show you guys that you don't have to go and buy a whole bunch of stuff to be organized. I promise you guys. I know that it's hard to not look at other people and how they organize and buy all these different accessories and everything. You guys, I promise you do not have to do that. So I just ended up working with what I had. I had a couple extra containers and things like that that I used, but for the most part, I did not buy anything for this video. But now moving on to the glass cabinets. This is where I did take everything out as well and gave that a good wipe down because it does get pretty dusty in there. And I ended up getting rid of a few glasses that I noticed had some chips and cracks in it. And another, I guess, policy that I have with myself when it comes to decluttering and purging your stuff in your house, if you haven't used it in over a year or you don't see yourself ever using it again, now that can be very, like, I could definitely stretch that because there were some things where I'm like, oh yeah, I'll definitely use that in the next year or so. But for the most part, I'll look at it and be like, okay, if I have not used this in the last year, if I have no purpose for it, get rid of it. I'm telling you guys, just get rid of it. Donate it, give it to somebody whatever you need to do because it's just going to end up just staying there and taking time year after year after year so that's kind of my policy i like to hold on to things you guys i'm not a hoarder maybe like a mild hoarder but i've definitely gotten better over the years and i've come to the point where if it's not serving a purpose just just get rid of it get rid of it so anyways this is another example of these dividers coming in handy because you can organize all of your kitchen utensils. I think I got that silverware divider off of either Amazon or Target. I will try to link as much as I can. And I will say the one thing that I do wish that I would have gotten is some kind of pot and pan organizer. If you guys can let me know, I know I should probably just check Amazon because that's where I get everything and that's where everything is. But let me know if you have any recommendations on how to organize pots and pans because I just stack them in this cabinet and I noticed that the cast iron that we keep at the bottom I probably should also get some kind of liner to go in our cabinets I was realizing that as I was doing this video because there was like sticky stuff I don't even know what this was but it was literally impossible to get up I even tried using a magic eraser to get it up and that didn't work so I might have to get like some goo gone I think that's what it's called I have no idea but get something to try to get that up and then ends up getting some liners or something to go in there so it doesn't further mess up our cabinets but I will say for only 
cleaning this for the first time in five years, our cabinets were in pretty good shape on the inside. I was very impressed that I have managed to keep them pretty clean and scratch free. There was some cabinets, not so much like the one you just saw, but I was very, very impressed. And now I'm like, okay, I need to take better care of them. We're about to do some Marie Kondo organizing. I only had my dish towels in this drawer, so I decided to roll them all up and I was able to fit them all on one side of the drawer and be able to have more space on the other side for other things. So I ended up moving my pot holders over there and then for the drawer in the far back, we just basically put like all of our alcohol items so like beer holders wine openers bottle holders all of that stuff uh, Frank and I's tradition is every time we travel somewhere we always get a bottle opener it might sound silly but we really cherish those so they're getting their own spot So this was an example of a drawer that was already organized. So I actually just left it the way that it was and just kept moving. Right, guys so that wrapped it up for day one now moving on to day two like I said in the beginning I didn't realize how big of a task this was until I started doing it and I got tired like I was really getting tired but I think it's because I knew I had my work ahead of me because the rest of the cabinets in the house were full of stuff for example this is like our cup tumbler cup water bottle cabinet you guys we have way too many water bottles like they were stacked on each other we don't even use half of these water bottles and I didn't even count them but now I'm like curious to know how many we had and half of those cups we have not used in over a year they're literally just collecting dust and taking up space in our cabinet so I got rid of half of those cups and ended up organizing them based on like all the kids cups are on this side all of our drink holders i put at the top and then i organized all the coffee ones i got rid of so many cups and i still ended up filling this cabinet i don't know how that was possible <laughs> this cabinet that is underneath our stove that I just put all of our kind of like our bigger kitchen appliances which I actually ended up getting rid of 
our old toaster, not the green one that you guys saw, but one that we have not used again in over a year because we got the new toaster and I'm like, why is it still in here? This is what I'm talking about, you guys. Going through everything will show you that you have stuff in there that just takes up so much space that you haven't used. And another thing, Tupperware. How many of you guys right now in your Tupperware cabinet have like missing lids or lids with no bowls? I didn't realize that. I thought that that was actually pretty organized until I actually went through every single container and realized that I just had other containers in there that was just taking up space because it didn't have a matching lid or I don't have the bottom board anymore. So I'm just going through all of that and matching up lids to the bowls and getting rid of whoever doesn't have a partner. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. I think this is what I was dreading the most. I was dreading our junk drawer, which I didn't end up filming because there's a lot of information with like our address and everything on it. But this is how it turned out. I ended up putting those dividers in there as well. It's not the most organized because it's a junk drawer, so it still has junk. But I was able to throw away a whole bunch of stuff. Now this cabinet above our fridge just pretty much holds all of my vases and um, I have like extra plant cups or holders, what are they called? Planters, planters in there. Um, and a few of Frank's grandparents stuff is up there. So I put it up high so it stays safe and sound. This was another cabinet that I was not looking forward to because again, it just has so much stuff. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I see like a lot of stuff and even, even if it's not what you would consider cluttered, it almost seems cluttered to me and it makes me so anxious to see that. Like sometimes I don't even like to open certain cabinets because I'm just like, oh, it instantly hits me. Uh, I think that's part of my type A personality. So all I did was a little rearranging. I actually didn't get rid of any stuff in there because we keep, or we use pretty much everything in that cabinet. It just needed a nice little reorganizing just to look a little bit neater. And this is another cabinet that I had organized, I think a couple months ago and went through. So I didn't need to go through that. Keep all of our coffee mugs and all of my workout stuff in there. And then another cabinet that doesn't really need to be organized is the medicine cabinet. I had organized that a few months ago as well. And then last but not least, this is the cabinet that is above our microwave and oven. I was really dreading this one too. This is where I keep all of like my extra party stuff and household stuff like cake stands and placemats, runners, things like that. I have just basically stacked things up in there. I honestly didn't even know where to start because there was so much stuff in there. I don't know if you guys can really tell by this angle, but I had so much party stuff in there. I even had baby food silicone holders from when Aria was a baby that I'm like still not wanting to let go of. But I actually ended up getting so frustrated because I felt like I was playing with Tetris with everything and Frank was trying to help me, you know, take everything out and rearrange. And I'm like, I literally don't know what to do because I use all of that stuff for like kids parties and things like that. 
and I was just like, I was so over it at that point, you guys. So I turned off the camera. I was able to find a way to organize it where it looked okay and a little bit neater so this is how it turned out and that is actually the end of this video it actually feels so good even though it was a really big task I really didn't realize how long it was going to take me and how much energy i was going to have to exert for this but it feels so so good to finally have everything organized and like i told you guys this is going to be a new series where i organize different parts of my house so let me know what you guys would love to see me organize next leave that down below in the comments and again don't forget to check out abode vacuum i will leave all those details and the link in my description i just want to say thank Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys.